It was 1959 when Roger Ward won the first of his two Indy 500s. During his career, he won 26 Indy car races and still ranks seventh on the all-time winner's list. It was a career that lasted 16 years. But like so many other racers, it's a career he never really left behind. I never really ever got a thrill out of going fast. With me, it was always the me against you, the competition. That's what excited me. And for just a while last month, Roger Ward was back. The Indianapolis 500 winner, Roger Ward. In the Solar and Electric 500 at Phoenix International Raceway. Here we go, green flag! Now believe me, I was not an environmentalist. I had no interest in electric cars, but after you're around them a little bit, pretty soon the picture begins to brighten. And, and my attitude towards the environment and towards what we're doing to the environment with uh, these polluters uh, changed a little bit. And we'll show you what powers this vehicle. It gets about 50 miles to the charge. The cars are a far cry from the screaming machines that Ward drove in his heyday, but he says he sees something in the people there that reminds him of what he admires most about the sport. Because the people in auto racing really don't understand, I can't do it, or it can't be done. I mean. In auto racing, we continually alter the rules to slow the cars down. Well, then these creative bunch of guys go to work and figure out some way. Oh, yeah, if I did it this way, I'll go a little bit faster. Well, that's what's going to develop electric cars and turn them into a viable product. So 30 years after the last win at Indy, is there any longing left for the thrill of the old champ cars? Fighting the freeways in Los Angeles give me all the thrills I need.